This is Peter Rosenthal, head film critic for The Onion, and welcome to the special Oscar preview edition of The Film Standard, where we'll be taking a look at some of the nominees for Hollywood's biggest night, nominees who, win or lose, we must admit, are the products of nepotism. Yes, virtually all the nominees this year are my children, who were so filled with shame due to my abandonment of them that they changed their last names. Nevertheless, I've boosted their careers from behind the scenes by, by wielding my influence as a powerful industry figure. Leading the race this year is breakout hit Everything Everywhere All at Once with a record 11 Oscar nods. The film is all but certain to score at least one for supporting actor nominee Ki Huey Kwan's magnetic performance as Waymond Wang. Nominated alongside my darling boy Ki are my other precious sons, Brendan, Barry, and Brian, and my eldest from my first marriage, Judd. Hello, boys. Key, Brendan, Barry, Brian, Judd. It's Papa. I'm sorry I left you. Daddy was under a lot of stress after you were born, and he made some bad choices. Facing down everything everywhere all at once for the night's biggest prize is The Fablemans, Steven Spielberg's semi-autobiographical coming-of-age story, and my pick for best picture. I was moved by Spielberg's poignant depiction of what it was like to grow up as my son in the 50s and 60s, and particularly touched by Michelle Williams' performance as the free-spirited Mitzi. Though I'll admit it was strange to see my daughter portraying my ex-wife. Shocking many, the Academy nominated five first-time Oscar nominees in the Best Actor category. Competing in what will be the night's most cutthroat race are my little Irish lads, Colin Farrell and Paul Meskell, for their respective work in Banshees of Inisherin and After Sun. Bill Nighy for living. Oh, look, look how big and strong you've grown, Billy. And my baby boy, Austin Butler for Elvis, and my pick for his comeback performance in The Whale, Brendan Fraser. Or should I say, Brendan Rosenthal, which I guess wasn't a good enough name for him. To this day, my progeny have collected a total of 714 Academy Awards in categories ranging from Lifetime Achievement to Best Original Song. I have spread my seed across six continents and into every nook and cranny of the film industry from directing and production to costume design and hairstyling. Let's face it, one drop of my sperm is practically a golden ticket to stardom at this point, and the reason is clear. My flesh and blood make up a staggering 82% of all eligible Academy voters. Yet, one thing you won't see at the Academy Awards Sunday night is a single one of my own kin thanking their good papa in their Oscar acceptance speeches. All I'm saying is, a little gratitude would be nice, especially from that ungrateful little brat Pinocchio who I whittled out of the branches of an eastern white pine myself. For The Onion's Film Standard, I'm Peter Rosenthal.